we're going to look at this Canon AE-1 35mm film camera. Uh, this is a famous SLR from designed in the 70s and I thought we would put this one through its paces here on video so you can see the uh, little bit more of the condition of the camera and I thought the best thing to do would be to step down through these shutter speeds. Here's that one one thousand. 1 500th, 1 250th, 1 1 25th, 1 60th, 1 30th, 1 15th, 1 8th, and I'm going to set the uh, f-stop way down to f22 so we can watch the blades close here too during some of these Okay, and one fourth, one half, one full second, and two full seconds. And then there's the bulb setting, which just keeps the shutter open and the lens stopped down as long as I hold the button down, and then the cycle completes. Um, let's take, well first then let's also notice the uh, stop down preview and it's also got a feature where it will lock and then there's a little button you can push to release it and that's functioning. Uh, if we take the lens off, this is the newer style with the button, They're actually called I believe the new FD so it's an FD lens but it doesn't have the breech lock but it has this button here and you just simply rotate that while pressing the button. The lens comes off and I, I did look through this and it looked pretty good to me. I'll have a few more comments in the uh, listing but uh, let's just look at the, the focus is nice and smooth. The aperture ring has nice clicks and it does also allow for the locking and the A setting for some automatic features. So that works. And if we look at the camera itself, uh, there's, there's a little bit of wear on the paint here on the battery door and I, I was looking at that and then I realized that this camera has an earlier style uh, door. It seems to be more metal to it than most of them. And that's really a, an issue with a lot of the AE-1s and the A-1s and the AE-1 programs that share this door design is that these doors get all smashed and damaged and the latch stops working and this one really looks good. There's a battery in it. I'll just leave this in there. I don't know how much life that battery has but I'll leave it in there with this sale. The door closes properly. The little flash sink port has the has a little cover. Uh, you won't normally need to use this if you use flash if you use one that fits on the hot shoe and this one even has a little Canon hot shoe cover that comes off and you can keep that in there if you want to or put that in your camera bag but it fits there. We'll mount the lens back on. Just line up the red dot, rotate it until the little button pops out. If we look around the back, this one has the uh, the eye cup and it's still soft and pliable so that's still in good shape. It is it is the Canon brand, it says Canon on it. And uh, the bottom of the camera is quite nice, a little bit of scuffing but not a lot. And no no numbers scratched into this one anywhere so that's nice. Uh, we didn't check out the self timer so I'm going to set this back up on a higher shutter speed and then flip this lever out and advance this and then we'll just watch that. So now here we see the light blinking right over here. And there it went. And this camera also features a, a shutter lock so if we push this back like that it won't go off until you flip that back. So that's handy to keep it from going off while it's in your bag accidentally. 
And if we open up the back, now with this eye cup on here, we have to hold this up out of the way a little bit for that to clear. And we'll look at the, the rewind crank. It's a nice all-metal crank on this design, so that's in good shape. And let's watch the, uh, the curtains and the film advance. It looks really good. Feels really good and smooth. And if we go over to this side, I feel very little, if any, light seal residue on here. It's hard to tell, but you know that's that feels old, but it has it's not all sticky. Yeah, so I would say the light seals are still functional. Um, it doesn't. It hasn't transferred material onto these edges, which is which is nice. So to close that, we'll lift the eye cup out of the way, snap it shut. Looks to be a pretty nice uh, example of the original AE-1, which was a shutter priority camera uh, introduced in 1976. And here's the original Canon lens cap.